I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. First I saved Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Hmm. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I, sh I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Man. I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. I'm such an idiot, Kate. I could have shown this to the principal and busted David. I could have. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. I'm so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate.
That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. So much hypocrite. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I believe you, Max. Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. That meant a lot to me. I'm my own person, too. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. 
I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Dana's really hurting over this. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I feel so... giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Say nut. Gotcha. The most magical insects. Burn bright. Principal Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. I know I have a set of keys. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Ah, gotcha. Max the ninja strikes again.
Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max, who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, 
I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Dead end. Boring. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. I bet he's cute. Desolation. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. <sighs> no keys here. Nothing to see here. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Okay, I have the can. Only three more items to go. This is like a scene in a horror film. Look, oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit, Toria. That is pretty fucking sweet. 
How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. Nice going, Max. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. The tape is mine. You're halfway home, Max. Here's the sodium chloride box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Only one more ingredient left. I never said they were great, troll. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. Ooh, sugar. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. You deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan, but every little grade counts. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool! 
Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Thanks for checking out my latest video. If you want to see more of what I do, click in this area over here. If you want to see the other things that I do, which are also as awesome as what I do now, click right here. I also have links in the description. Click, like, subscribe. This is Jamazoid. See you later.